Good luck. All right. So, um, while there are a great many openings I could choose to play here, um, I'm going to again elect for fourth foul rook. Um, well, this is interesting, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so, what do I want to play here? I mean, obviously, I'm desiring to play an, a double swinging rook game because that's what I do. Um, I think this could be interesting. Of course this is risky, but I still think this could be of interest. All right. Um, Okay, so this indicates a rapid attack. I think I'm situated against this, and if he opens his bishop, then I need to protect this pawn a second time. Otherwise, I think I'm okay. Um, if I push this pawn now, that encloses my bishop. So, how do I keep a flexible formation? Okay, we're going to get this out of the way of my rook. Unfortunately, this was just defending 5-7. Uh, so might have to make decisions later about how best to defend that. Um, uh, how stubborn am I? I do not want to fully encase my bishop, so we're going to play this twice toward his king. I don't understand exactly what he's going for with this, other than... Oh! Oh, right. Um, I 
Interesting. That does make it more difficult for me to push this pawn. Um, I'm going to try to keep my head screwed onto the rest of my body and not panic too much in the face of these um, challenges. So if I push my bishop to the edge, he just pushes the edge pawn and, like, gets an initiative there. Um, There is a proverb to push the odd file pawns, but how literally should I take a proverb? I mean, if I push this, he just pushes, right? And I take and he gets a dangling pawn or something of that sort. Maybe I don't fear that. Maybe I do. What I most fear is this bishop's not going to get anywhere. And the rook likewise. This is so inefficient. Is he really going to push? Well, I guess that is a Joseki.
So with this, I'm saying my bishop's not going to go to this edge file. Um, what is the meaning of this move? Okay, so yeah, he intends for his silver to repel me here. Okay. Um... think this is playable. This does rule out yet another possibility for this bishop, which would be this other diagonal, but there's nothing to target on that diagonal. I did want to bring my bishop onto the same line as the silver, but um, like I'm not seeing a way to do that without jeopardizing my castle. So instead we play this. and try to keep something flexible somehow. Um, I'm again baffled by my opponent's moves. I mean, this makes sense, but um, but I'm not the one who makes sense of it. So essentially, well, what he's telling me is that I've given him a free tempo, and maybe I have. Like, I was intending to bring my gold up to defend this. And in response, I just get struck if I do that. And it hurts badly. Um, Well, I need to do this anyway. Hmm. This is a bit concerning. Well, if he takes my pawn, I move my gold up again, which is not Joseki, but still looks appropriate. Um...
So I'm debating, do I push on the eighth file here, force him to move the silver up, which he kind of wants to do anyway? Um, or do I go chasing this pawn? I'm doing this because it favors my bishop to give my bishop some freedom. Um, it's not a whole lot of freedom. But we finally found a diagonal for this bishop. Incidentally, that blocks my rook, but just finding harmony in my pieces is so challenging when I don't know what's going on. The other painful thing is I'm considering just what's going to strike on this file while I try to muster something of an attack. But there's nothing I can do to resist this attack anyway. <sighs> so... If I allow a rook exchange, I'm in trouble. But also, he's going to force material exchanges anyway. There will be trouble, it's just how do I deal with it? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think this is my best try to resist against what's about to attack. Um, I missed that. All right. Um... Hmm. I did not anticipate this move. What am I supposed to do against this? Oh, dear. What a sad defense. Oh, 
150秒。So any exchange destroys me here. And exchanges are going to happen sooner or later. Um, hmm. This is not good. How am I supposed to understand this move? What is its meaning? Sanjibyo. Sanjibyo I am so confused. Oh god. Oh dear. Well, that's embarrassing. Hmm. How do I want to resolve that? My rook sucks. Like, I shouldn't be super attached to it, but I am. <sighs> I just don't know anymore. What? Oh. Okay, so he takes my silver with tempo. Good observation. Um... Hmm. 
30秒This is less than ideal.三十秒。四十秒。Oh, I'm blind. Uh, yeah, no, that's just mate, isn't it? I thought I could take you. Yeah, no, you got me. All right, good game. Well played. Um, I'll hand over the hat as usual. Um, let's see. So, let's, uh, standard. Hmm. Thanks. I'm glad to have done anything correctly, to be honest. Uh, Destiny is a very precise opponent. Um, maybe. Okay. Ah. Uh. Maybe, okay, twice push this. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Like, if I'm going to play third foul rook, I might as well get the pawn as far advanced as possible to restrict him from... Oh. Ah, right. Uh, in the game, that was a problem. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I tried. And that's not just about memorization. Like, all these ranging rook openings are flexible with move ordering. Yeah. Yeah, light of... Yeah. After this game, I fully agree. Yeah. Um, this is why theory is the way it is. Um, yeah. I needed 
to push that curve file pawn, even if it makes uh, developing the bishop a little harder. Uh, oh yes, but also... There is a way. I think he's going to talk about how to get my bishop out of here. Oh, to transpose from third file to um, Muka Bishop. Huh. So, it's transposition. It's like, oh, at first exchange is seventh file pawn is part of that transposition. Then you drop the rook all the way back, and then uh, with the pawn in hand, you can um, play second file. Or I'm sorry, you drop far this far back. Oh. Cool. That makes sense. Uh, oh. Yes, please. Uh, cause yeah, I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, in particular, where the rook drops back to, but um, because that determines where the knight and bishop ultimately end up. Yeah. So, uh, the whole reason I delayed pushing the third file pawn is because I wasn't sure whether I was going to open the long diagonal. And while that's an open question, um, so while that might be an open question, um, I still need to give my rook some freedom. And if I could at least get my pawn off the third file, I'll have some hope of having an active rook someday. Uh, so there's multiple lines here. Okay, so yeah, I wasted so many moves because I wasn't sure what the key ideas were. One technique. Okay, so allowing a bishop exchange is one possibility. Huh. That's sharp. Well, no, I've actually seen um, some of these tactics before with like the bishop drop and the bishop counter drop and that stuff. Need to review that sometime, but um, yeah, that's sharp. I avoided bishop exchanges today because I've not had enough time to re review Hidechi's lesson. Um, now, do we bring the no, we don't. Huh. But yeah, this is how we transpose. Okay. Yeah. That seems sensible. Confusing, but also sensible. Um. Yeah. That makes sense. A lot of these lines transpose into each other, but that's a good sample of how to do it. Um, so 
since I guess here we're debating, like, do I push the third file point? Okay. Um, yeah, so here this is possible. I was just concerned that now it becomes very difficult to develop the bishop, at least until I push this again. And if I do push it again, you got pawn in hand, and oh, it goes right there. Okay. Ah. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. I was concerned about the... Okay, wow. So yeah, we play the rook over back to the second file this way. And again, we're off to the races. Um, yeah, uh, there are so many ways to transpose. Uh, yeah. This is helpful. I can emulate uh, these lines in the future. Yeah. But yeah, all of these involve pushing that third file pawn, and the fact that um, he gets a pawn in hand while my king is so exposed is not the end of the world. Yeah. Oh, so once I've taken my rook off the file, that's the key, right. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I missed this until it was too late. Uh, yeah. Right. It's a general rule. Oh. Like, there's this awkward timing whenever my rook's on the third file, but as soon as I move off... Uh, okay, Hymino with the unpushed 7th file pawn. I think it's Mukabisha Yagra is good. Okay. Um, Hamino against the unpushed seventh file. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, um, Like here, I'd have to shuffle my bishop or change my pawn structure a lot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, bishop eight six could work. Yeah, I'd have to prepare it a bit better, uh, but yes, it may be. Uh, yeah. Okay. I did consider this. Um... So, what was my concern here again? Yeah. I was looking at this. Um, but... Yeah, this is tricky. You usually want to bring out your silver because it's easier for it to move around 
Uh, oh, yeah, honestly, yeah, to attack from here than it is from back there. Okay. Yeah, and if needed, I could retreat the silver to later. Allow me to move the center pawn in vigil, I guess. Um, oh! Okay. Um, yeah, this is a closed position. It's pretty complicated. Yeah. Oh! Okay. That makes sense. Um, trying to activate the bishop, uh, but afraid of pushing, uh, afraid of opening the long diagonal. Uh, so, I'm really not sure what's going on. Um, maybe I just need to be less afraid or something. Um, well, so I'm like thinking this sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it, it didn't work in the game at all. Yeah. It would kind of make the bishop a target now that I think more about it. Um... Yeah, this is not my brightest idea ever. Um, oh, this. Okay, is this? Uh, no, I was more concerned about uh, this sort of thing. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, this seems stronger than my uh, concern. Um, I didn't even notice that, but, um, should have done that much earlier. Yeah, here I don't have time to do it anymore. Here, I'm just in trouble. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in so much trouble here. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, if I had time, uh, this could be interesting. It's not even close, but <laughs> yeah, earlier in the game, this would have been much more interesting. Um... Here I was completely stumped. Um, yeah, so... Um... Yeah, things just instantly deteriorated. Um, yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, I... Yeah, I still needed to put up this kind of defense. Uh, my rook was hanging, but that doesn't matter. Um, in general, that knight was a large obstacle. So yeah, again, we had, to, I made it to what, move 50 or something like that before panicking. Um, hmm. So I should defend, let's see. Um, I mean, it's hard, but... So maybe this? I'm not sure. Oops. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I actually missed the other. This rook takes bishop there. Uh, this position's so loose, it's terrible. I don't want to put my bishop down, but, like, this is just such a painful position. Um, uh, camp is so disorganized. It's just such a mess. Yeah. So, I mean, like, what else do I try here? This is pretty hard. I guess this has to move. I don't know. Um, maybe this. Um, Maybe this is better than I estimated. Because if the rook attacks the bishop, I can... Um, yeah, then I have to exchange? Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, that's correct. Uh... And then... I don't know, I guess I take... This like this silver was kind of imposing anyway. At any rate, this is way more interesting than the game was. Um Yeah, so we have to, like, defend this or something. Um, hmm. 
especially compared to the game, but yeah, this um this looks survivable. Not against a very strong player, but against quite a few players, this could be survived. Um, Yes, very much so. At least if uh, Bishop takes work immediately. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, right, and here I'd have to do like this. Um, which, uh, though it's ugly, might still be playable. Let's see, where was it? Um, oh! Oh gosh. Uh, yeah, that actually hurts a lot. Um, yeah, so never mind on this then. Hmm. Jeez. Well, that's brutal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, that looks challenging to deal with. Um, so maybe this, but yuck. If I do survive this, it's going to be a miracle, but, you know, miracles can happen. Uh, so he's attacking this gold. Um, this is like the weirdest castle ever. And so I can't put my pawn down where his dragon's at. <sighs> so I guess maybe this here. No, that's that's gloom and doom in a thousand different flavors. Um Yeah, this looks hard. Trying to read out, like, do I get mated by a bishop dropping here? Um. Oh, this. Yeah, this is a more active way to play. Giving up two bishops for a dragon. Since I have quite a few squares covered. Uh... Yeah, this might not be bad. This could be so much worse than it is. Yeah, I'm really not sure how to comment, other than this definitely looks like best play. But um, surely tactics will flow and follow. Yeah. 
way my night move was awful. Um, because like my uh, here since I moved the knight, pushing the fifth foul pawn is no longer an option. Yeah, so, um, there must be anything else. <laughs> Any other move is better than pushing that pawn. Um, uh, let's see, so this... Uh, So what's the, I mean, yeah, it's, do you want to take the pawn, or is there a compelling reason to take it? Um, I mean, yeah, right, it's just a question of timing, really, because um, his attack might strike on my king before my attack and land. So hmm. what if I just leave this as is? I wasn't even looking at trying to break this way. This is kind of complicated. Um I'm trying to figure out what else could there be. Oh yeah, I guess the pawn drop in this, yeah. Yeah, there's this sort of thing. Yeah, well, you get the idea. Certainly he does. Um. Oh, uh, I was just uh, going to point out, um... Uh, pawn drop idea, so like, uh, this seems like eventually it will land. Um, hmm. Not sure when it's most effective, but, um, like I see, uh, but you do control this square. Um, yeah. And I have difficulty controlling it. Yeah, so. Yeah. think there's a way to defend against that, so maybe just, um, oh, yeah, makes sense The gold wasn't doing much anyway. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. Right, and this is, uh... oh, that's interesting. I always do wonder, like, how to break this sort of thing without using my bishop or rook in every single attack I do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not winning, but it, there's at least ideas. Well, yeah. I agree. I was just going to point out, like, yeah, I have this capture, and actually somehow I got two golds in hand. 
so that might be a bit uh, ambitious to start the attack. Oh, yeah, you could use this to defend because it's right there. Um... Okay, so, uh, yes, this was possible if, um, how do I phrase this? I don't know. You allowed me to take, uh, on the third file. Yeah. So if you allowed this thing, uh... Oh yeah, so that knight would defend both weak points in my castle. Um, my bishop gets trapped, but that's not the end of the world. Yeah. So obviously this is a bit harder for me to attack, even though it's, um, well, his attack is one move slower. But that's just fine for him. Um, right, so I have to sack here to keep the knight out of that vulnerable square. Um, wait, this doesn't do anything, does it? Like... Am I just hallucinating? Um, I'm not sure that the... yeah. Yeah. Still way more interesting than the game. <laughs> uh... Oh, right. So, yeah, even if he wastes a move, he can still win. But, um... Yeah. I had a transposition failure, and then just a general failure. <laughs> ah! Yeah. That, that makes sense. Yeah, I need... Made so many pawn pushes that were not good. Yeah. Given the f where his pieces are posted, um, it made sense to bring the silver up. Um, uh, not this time. I'll have to do more. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, this is perfectly good. Um, yeah, so we'll say this anyway. Um, yeah, I greatly appreciate Destiny's, uh, thorough lesson or post-game analysis together. Um, That's a good post-game analysis. Um, I know I'm stuttering the entire way through it, the same way that if I were to lecture a chess beginner, um, and somehow they were equipped to take on all the knowledge at once, they would be stuttering the whole time as I pointed out ideas, and that's fine means that we're learning a lot. Um, so yeah, um, obviously if I'm going to play this 
I was committed to playing half Mino or Mino. Because I've tried other castles and it's not gone particularly great. This time we did get to play a half Mino castle. Um, but yeah, like clearly I need to push this early in the game in order to transpose into um, the Mukabisha uh, second foul, opposing foul rook. Um, and the reason I need to do that, well, is if I'm going to later have any kind of aggression on any file. Like, in the game I was considering pushing the edge file, but I couldn't gain any profit from that unless I had a pawn in hand. In the game, I pushed my fourth file pawn, losing it, and then realized I couldn't recover it. And not only that, it was worse, because I couldn't defend against this advanced pawn without a pawn in hand. So, like, having a pawn in hand is valuable. And, um, uh, evidently, like, somehow I was of the impression I could just push this any time. Uh, but very much the wrong time to push this was, um, well, yeah, I actually didn't get to push it. Because I moved my rook off of the third file before I pushing it. Um, even at this stage, there might be some hope of pushing it, but it's, like, way too late now. All right, we have more comments. Let me read. Uh, yeah. Uh, pain means we're learning. There was a lot of learning this game. Um, I mean, this went somewhat ever so slightly better than the previous encounter. It was still painful, um, but I recognized a need to defend. Yeah, so I need to take in more good ideas, emulate good ideas from good players, um, and play fewer wasteful moves. Um, at least this game I had the notion that of trying to activate my pieces and trying to pose challenges for my opponent. Um, he did make it through this game uh, fairly speedily because he's a good player and because my position buckled under pressure. And uh, there was one moment in this game where I absolutely panicked, and that was the snipe move here. Where, I forget how long I've been in Bioyomi here, but being in it for enough moves in a row and just feeling an absolute need to lash out and strike something right away because I couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, I think it's in some sense healthy to have this sort of reaction that like I can't take getting beat up forever here. I did make it uh, 48 moves. 24 of my moves before lashing out like this. And immediately after I lashed out, I was punished, and duly so. Um, this gold move was pretty bad, but... Well, no, I, I forced myself to play it, so... Uh, this was mistimed. Um, yeah, so if I'd played better moves earlier, I would have had more attacking possibilities. Um... Yeah, pushing this... I don't know, I just need to watch more good games and play more good moves um, and make sure to activate my pieces. And my opponent will make it difficult, and I need to overcome these difficulties, and it's hard. But with time and energy and discipline, um, we can endure and play a good game someday. Um, Destiny played an amazing game. And I, I played a beginner game. It could have gone worse, could have gone better. But we're learning something every week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.